Hey YouTube, welcome to Venezuela. We are in Canaima National Park. Uh, we're here at the Canaima Lagoon, as you guys can see. Very beautiful. Uh, yeah, this was an amazing trip. And here now in Canaima, you can't really tell, but obviously when I was in Caracas uh, at the beginning of this trip and now again starting tomorrow. Um, I don't know, it just became really clear to me again. Like, I've been doing so much fighting, <laughs> fighting, or debating on YouTube with like the new generation of young people really being pro-communism and and now Chile actually even elected a new president who is communist or he says that he stands for com or socialist I don't know like like I said here in Kanama you don't really see it this is pretty much only indigenous people living here but in Caracas the amount of hardship and poverty and the kind of life the people have to live under these kind of regimes. It's just so weird to me that we keep doing this experiment over and over and over. It doesn't work, you guys. And I've said this at the very beginning of my channel already. I'm like, I... Theoretically, I love the idea of communism. Theoretically, it's a beautiful, wonderful idea. I get it. I understand what the general appeal of it is, right? Um, but in practice, it just doesn't work. It doesn't work, you guys. The more, like, it's, if, I, if you say, like, let's say there's a spectrum of, you know, on the one side is capitalism, on the other side is communism. The further a country leans towards communism, the quicker it will fail the quicker it will fail. It just, it doesn't work. People are not, um, what is the word? Altruistic like that. You don't work for other people. It just isn't the way human nature, you know, our human nature is to try to benefit ourselves and potentially maybe our close friends, uh, our family members, something like that. And I don't know, I just feel so sad for the people here and the people... Every day I talk with several people here about um, what their feelings are about it and the general disappointment and anger they have towards the government here and how hard life is trying to survive. Oh, you know, and I found out the... Um, the minimum wage in Venezuela is $20 a month, which is not a survivable wage whatsoever, which again is so funny to me because those people on the left who are pushing communism, they're also the same people who are always like, we have to raise minimum wage, we have to raise minimum wage. I'm like, yeah, raise it to what? To communist levels? $20, $20 a month? Is that, you know what I mean? I, it's just ridiculous, you know, and you know, there's no incentives for businesses, there's no incentives to have a restaurant, nothing, because if everything is government owned and there's crazy high taxes on everything, you're actually punished to try to um, create businesses. It's just, it's just not a good system. Like, and I'm really, yeah, more than anything, like I said, I'm just not understanding how many more times we have to try this experiment. The the tour guide I have here, he told me that his mother, you know, worked hard her entire life and her retirement is $3 a month. $3 a month, you guys. And you know, just if you go to a restaurant, buying a coffee, just a coffee at a restaurant is already like $5. So, you know, people, there's just, you know, water, water gets shut down, electricity gets shut down. Um, I really think we need to start educating our young again 
um, we've created this complete idiotic idea that capitalism is this horrible, horrible thing and people thrive under cap... More people thrive and gain wealth under capitalism than ever, ever under communism. You know, it's just... Here in Venezuela also, they were... Because uh, obviously my tour guide is very honest and open with me about it. And he was telling me how a lot of people here, they're actually incentivized by the Communist Party to vote co to keep voting communist and the way they do it is that they get like free housing and it's like you'll guys I can insert some videos at the end of this yeah what kind of free housing barrios favelas you know no electricity no water 20 people to a single room you know it's 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 horrible it's just all these people in the Western world especially now in the US if you guys remember during the election period um, this last election period I was so really like okay it's gotta be Trump it's gotta be Trump or anybody but Bernie Sanders like it that freaked me out that the US has gotten to a point where they're actually willing to potentially vote somebody in who is openly socialist which yes there's some minor differences between socialism and communism but it's still like a slippery slope in my opinion and coming from a socialist country, I can tell you guys, it doesn't work. It, even socialism doesn't work. And that the U.S. has gotten so far... I feel like anybody who wants to vote that way, or anybody who is pro-communism or socialism, really should be forced to live in a country like Venezuela, or Cuba, or North Korea for like one or two years. Not with the backing of you know the finances that they have from their first world but actually having to come here and live like the locals do and see what a hard life this is and I don't know I don't know you guys I think it's we're it's really the western world is really becoming scary with like all these pro-communist movements and the 7,000 genders and it's just insanity you know here maybe at the end of this video I'll also include like a little video uh, you know again I've seen I've said this in a couple of places already in the world where I've been where also in the first world the amount of the things that young people have time to think about like literally to have time to think about am I oppressed Am I not oppressed? Am I male? Am I female? What's my gender? Maybe I don't have a gender. You know, like the luxury, the entitlement, like these people, they act like they're so oppressed, but the entitlement to be able to sit around and think about crap like that. And then I'm again, I'm in one of those countries where here the kids, they're six, seven years old. They already have to work. You know, I mean, childhood is for the most part already over. Um, Yeah, I'll insert a video like yesterday. There's a girl that at the lodge I'm staying. She's already cleaning. She's helping with the cooking. She already had to learn how to like help like stir the canoes that we use here to get around. Um, just like <sighs> these people have legitimate issues and ideas and thoughts and problems that they have to deal with on a daily basis. Like things like, is there going to be electricity? Am I going to be able to feed my kids? Am I, you know, am I going to have a roof over my head? Where am I going to get any money to buy the essentials that you need in life? Just something is really wrong in the in the Western world, you guys. Something has really... Something has gone off kilter. Something has gone really off kilter in the Western world. And it's actually really funny because I was... And then I was watching this one video about... <laughs> uh, because here, obviously, well, again, people don't understand people who don't understand communism and cap and socialism, you know, uh, where it's like there's only certain things that you're allowed to produce because the government regulates everything. And I think it was Ben Shapiro, somebody who was like showing, who was looking. No, it wasn't Ben Shapiro. Matt Walsh. I don't know. It was one of the other like pundits that I watch, uh, who I actually don't agree with a lot. He's a little too right for me, but. He was like looking up potential Christmas gifts for people depending on where they are on the spectrum from very far left to very far right. 
and uh, there was this like one of the jokes he made which I was like this is so true and this is one of those things that like people who don't understand capitalism communism like the irony in terms of their behavior and what they're doing is just so hilarious because he was showing like there was like Christmas cups and sweaters that were saying things like eat the rich or tax the rich or um, wish I could live in communist country or something like that. And it's like, do you even understand that these products that you just made, were you were able to make them via a capitalist market to sell to people who have jobs and income to spend because of a capitalist market but you're preaching communism. It's just so crazy. I don't, it's, it's really, really scary what's happening to the world. And, oh God, we need to educate our young. I don't know how, especially for places in the world that, how many in the Western world, I don't know. I'm very worried, you guys.